Howdy folks, I'm Eric Williams and welcome to CapeCast, the official webcast of the Cape Cod Times. We are standing before the most exciting map on Cape Cod right here at Cape Cod Community College and it's just been made into a really exciting book. Let's find out more next. CapeCast. So Mary, there's map mania sweeping Cape Cod. What's it all about? Well, there is indeed. Uh, the college has just published through our 4C alumni, Adam Gamble, this uh, beautiful book that represents the 1858 map of Cape Cod, Martha's Vineyard, and Nantucket. And what uh, this does, it puts in book format with glorious color uh, of Ooh. all the towns on Cape Cod, uh, and a, as it represents them in 1858, and every person who uh, was a resident of Cape Cod and the islands at that time, it marks where their houses were. Here's a very busy one of Sandwich. It also lists a number of the businesses on the Cape and how we were uh, still dependent on uh, whaling oil and uh, other occupations like that. But it is a, a beautiful book that we're very proud of. Folks, check it out. I guess this is where Mashpee came from name-wise. It says Marshpee. And maybe that had something to do with the marshes or some other something lost to history. But look at the beautiful color on that map. It's just, it's an object of art and fun and mm -hmm. history. The original map that it is from, from we do have a copy, uh, one of the holdings of the Nickerson archives. And uh, let me ask you about that original map. How many uh, are there in existence? Do we know? Well, I'm not sure. Uh, maybe it's down to a dozen or so. There are a number of them on Cape Cod. They're in various states of uh, preservation because it is such a large map. I think it's five feet by five feet. And uh, so they were uh, difficult to exhibit and display. Some of them were shellacked and all kinds of things. Some of them were cut up. Mary, I think one of the most fun things to do with this map is to play was my house there in 1858. We got this book in the newsroom and everyone was running over to it saying, was it, was it, was it? And it's really engaging for folks who may live in a pretty old house to find out how old it is and did it show up in this fabulous book. Right. Not only did it exist and where was it, but who lived in that house? You know, it's uh, a genealogist's delight. Well, let's talk about the continuing business of this map, Mary, because this beautiful book that is before us and brand new off the presses uh, is part of a uh, fundraising campaign, is it not? Absolutely, and it b is a fundraising uh, instrument because of the generosity of Cape Cod Five. They uh, financially back the publication of this book, so when someone purchases this book, uh, a hundred percent of that money goes to uh, the rebuilding of this archives of the Nickerson Cape Cod History Archives. Cape Cast. 